the miracles of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam That's why when Allah Tabaraka Wa Ta'ala introduced to us this event He begins with Subhan To show how great what happened was Subhan Al-Nabi Asra he even said that the Prophet himself traveled at night from Mecca to Beit al Maqdisi to the heavens. He said it is Allah Himself who caused him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do so. Asra bi abdihi with his servant, his entire servant, to show us that it was not as some scholars pretend or claim that it was by only his spirit. Abd is both the ruh and the body. Laylan to show us that it was not a dream. It happened in a portion of the night, not even the whole night. Laylan bin Nakirati. Min al Masjid al Harami il al Masjid al Aqsa. الذي باركنا حوله وعي لنريه من آياتنا to show him from among our ayats from among our ayats when Allah تبارك وتعالى mentions the stories of Ibrahim he say وكذلك نري إبراهيم ملكوت السماوات he didn't say some of the ملكوت السماوات but the entire ملكوت of of السماوات but here he say من آياتنا because Ibrahim was shown the ayat of Malakut samawat But the Prophet ﷺ was shown the ayat of Allah Himself. And ayat of Allah has no limit. They have, they have no, no limit. That's why Allah says, min, min ayatina. And in Surah Al-Najm, He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ uh, رَأَى مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِ الْكُبْرَى لَقَدْ رَأَى so this is a great event, a great honor from Allah to Rasulullah Sallallahu but and to the entire Ummah because Allah chose this very event to be the very moment Salah is prescribed for all of us. Every single other pillar of this deen was given to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while he was in Mecca, while he was on earth. But for Salah to be given to him, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala took him to Bayt al maqdis took him to the first heaven, to the second, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh, to al Afsh, to al Kursi, to Rafraf, to Mustawa, to his Hadar Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Haythu la ayna wa la kayfa, haythu la makana wa la zaman. Subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him this honor of, of prayer. So to show us that we all have the chance to do al miraj every single day. To talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to have Allah talk to us every single day through Salah. Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Sidna Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahmatullah he used to say, When I want Allah to talk to me, I just get up and pray. But if I want to talk to him, if I want to talk to him, I just get up and pray. But if I want him to talk to me, I grasp the book and read the Quran. So we have the chance to talk to Allah wa ta'ala without any uh, wasiqa, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why do we, how do we have that true Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, whom Allah wa ta'ala chose over every single person, over every single being, created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He took him on this very night to, to, to Bayt al-Maqdis.